Guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Jed Finds. In this episode, we're gonna be doing something different. Ooh, there's a tree branch. We're going to be doing a thing called Adventure Lab. It's very, very similar to geocaching, but with this, you're not finding any physical objects. It takes you to five separate locations and each location has a riddle. And if you find five of them, it tallies up to one geocache. So let's sit back, relax, let's find. Okay guys, so we're going to our first location and it is called the Virtual Tree Gazebo. And I'm guessing it's that big dome right there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get to it, and I'm gonna throw you guys on and we're gonna find what the heck we're looking for. Woohoo! All right guys, so we have made it to this ginormous gazebo. It's pretty big. I think I've shown this off in a video before. We're gonna go ahead and check it out, see what the heck we're gonna find. It says, the virtual tree gazebo is situated on the banks of Cascade Creek by the Western Bridge near the Mother Willow Tree. It is surrounded by many trees that blossom in the spring and is best enjoyed by sitting under in a canopy and one of the many branches Leaf has installed in the park. So now we've got to find the question and I think all I have to do is hit answer. It says, what is the sorority on the plaque in memorial to Ednan Baldwin. And it's right there, you see it? Given by the Delta Sigma sorority. So the Delta Sigma sorority, I'm gonna type that into my phone right here and I'll let you guys know if it's right. Okay guys, so I typed up Delta Sigma. We're gonna hit submit, see if it's right. Completed, woohoo! All right, so that's one out of five that we've got to answer. And once we get to five, that means we get one geocache. So that's super exciting. Bonus code D equals five. I don't know what that means. Okay, so see, if you guys see that red mark right there, I'm gonna send a screenshot. If you see that red mark, that is our next location that we've got to go to. So we've got a little bit of a walk. I think we can manage. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I'm super duper excited. This is super cool, guys. It's just, it's exactly like geocaching, but no physical objects. So really, it's just like a, a riddle treasure hunt. I'm super duper excited. Let's find this next one. All right, guys, we've got about a five minute walk to this next location. Um, this morning, it was snowing. That's crazy. There was snow on the ground this morning and uh, the sun came out, warmed up a little bit. So that's super nice. It's a little chilly out. That's why I'm wearing this uh, super cozy sweater. And I've got my super nice boots on so my feet don't get cold. Real quick guys, right here, this whole hill I used to go down as a kid and go sledding on all the time and it was the time of my life. It was so much fun. You can't do much sledding now though. <laughs> Willow Inn Community Living Sculpture. That's kind of cool. I'll zoom out a little bit here. And I got boots on so I can just walk right through it. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna get my feet all wet. Good thing I'm wearing my nice boots. But this is why I like going on my adventures, guys, because you find all this cool stuff that you normally wouldn't find just driving around. And I think we're probably, I'm gonna go this way. I think we're probably maybe like a minute away from it now, but there's people here, so I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, guys, so we're at our second location and um, it gives us some information about the location. It says, the labyrinth at Leaf is a gift from the Carrie T. Watson Garden Club. Dedicated in the spring 2005, the gift commemorates the garden's 80th anniversary. The labyrinth is a tool of prayer, meditation, and problem solving to those who walk at a leisure, I can't read that word, pace. So um, it's just basically a whole calming thing. And um, I'll show this off real quick. And I'm going to actually end up walking it to do the whole entire thing here in a second. Pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and try to answer the question now. Woohoo, we made it. <laughs> Sweet guys, now we are close enough. We can answer the question here. We're gonna hit answer. One, oh, on the green sign, what is the last two words of the line beginning with discovery and? Okay, on the round green sign, we're at the round green sign. What is the last two words of the line beginning with discovery and? Okay, so now we've just got to find where it says discovery and. We're going to go ahead. Discovery and right there. Check that out. Discovery and inner peace. Sweet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type that up in a second here. We're going to get it. Okay, we're going to see if that was right. Inner peace. 
completed. Woohoo! Okay guys, so that is two out of the five that we found. We just need three more and we win this one. So we're gonna go ahead and find it. Okay guys, that was probably my favorite one so far. This next one is a seven minute walk, so we've got a little bit to go. So I'll throw you guys on when we find it. Okay guys, and if I remember correctly, if I five, find five of these and complete this, it does count as one geocache. So this is kind of in cahoots with geocache actually. So that's super duper interesting. So I'm super duper excited to see if I do end up finding five, if it counts up to one geocache. Oh, that stinks. Someone absolutely definitely got their kite stuck up in that tree. Oh man, poor kid. Okay guys, so I 100% went the wrong way. I climbed all the way up the hill, but there's a huge slide I can go down, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! That was awesome. That slide is ginormous. Wow, okay. So yeah guys, the spot that we're going to is this little uh, amphitheater up here. I don't know why it took me all the way up the hill but that's just okay because that was really fun and i actually really wanted to go down the slide all right we're gonna go under the bridge and the amphitheater is right here and walk to it and then we're gonna find out what the clue is sweet all right guys we've made it to the amphitheater this thing is absolutely beautiful look at that Wow, I've been here before a whole bunch of times, but it's just nice coming back. And they have concerts here, they'll all sit on the stone and the bands will perform right here. I'm pretty sure they've got like outlets right here too. In the summer, they can plug in their amps and stuff and microphones and PA systems to play. Okay guys, so it says the amphitheater has four rows of stone seating for approximately 75 people. That's a lot of people. It's part of the Lake Erie something at Frontier Park, Leaf and was dedicated on September 8th in 2001. Each year, the Arts and the Something concert and theater series, a free series of music and theater performances held at this amphitheater. So that's super duper cool. It's absolutely beautiful. This is awesome. You've unlocked the question. I'm close enough to answer it. I'm gonna hit that. What is the four digit number following the artist's name on the left side of the stage dome? Okay, so left side of the stage dome would be right here I'd assume. What is the four digit number following the artist's name on the left side of the stage dome? So is there like a four digit number over here that we're trying to find? The artists? Okay guys I don't know if you can see it but I tried 0700 and then 7004 is a four digit number so I don't think it has anything to do with this because it's not really an artist's name. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the dome and hopefully find a number somewhere. I have no idea where the heck it would be though. Maybe inside of the dome somewhere. Maybe like on the left side. I'm on the left side here. Oh, right here. Look right there. There's a name, 2013. If that's it, I'm gonna lose my mind here. Okay, it's hard to do one-handed, but we're gonna try 2000. 13. Submit. Completed. Woohoo! That was the right one. Sweet. I think we've only got two left. Sweet guys. I really think that we're going to be able to find all of them. We've got about a four minute walk. And it's somewhere up here. I think that's the one we were trying to find originally. But we found the dome one. That's how big the dome is from afar. And I'll throw you guys on when we get to the next one. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and read this real quick. These plants are a sample of the vegetation roof that has been installed on the Leaf Education Center. 
that whole entire roof right there, all of this stuff right here is on top of it. That's super cool. Uh, the roof consists of a tray of system containing succulent plants called sedum designed to act as a filtering system. Rainwater is retained within the soil, thereby reducing storm water runoff. The water that does flow from the roof will have been filtered by the soil and plant roots, resulting in an improved quality of storm water entering Cascade Creek and eventually Lake Erie. So that's pretty wild. I don't know if that was part of the riddle or not. I just saw that. But yeah, the whole entire roof is that. So that's super cool. Okay, guys. So the question is asking us, what are the succulent roof plants called? And the answer is right there. Sedum. I have it typed in right there. I'm going to hit submit. Sweet. Completed. We've only got one left. I'm super excited. I really, really like doing these adventure labs. I'm hoping you guys enjoy them as much as I do. Because I'm having an absolute blast. All right, guys, this is the last one, and it is called Two Leaf Wetlands. So it says about a four minute walk. I'm gonna go ahead to it, and I'll throw you guys on when we get to it. Well, guys, on my way down to the Adventure Lab, I noticed that they've got this. It's a free bike pump station for whenever you're, uh, if your tires are low, you can just pump your, and pump it for free. This park is super cool, guys. All right, yeah, we're still maybe four or five minutes away. We've got to walk, so I'm going to go ahead and walk down. And I'll be sure to throw you guys on when we get to our first one. Or our fifth one, I guess. Our last one. All right, guys, just by the name of this next adventure lab, it says uh, the wetlands. I'm guessing it's talking about this section right here. But it's taking us on this huge bend right here. And we go all the way through and bend all the way around. And I think it's somewhere around there and i'm assuming it's going to be a plaque that we have to read okay guys we are it says zero minutes away and uh we're about 100 feet away from it and um i'm guessing it's going to be that sign right up there so we're gonna jog sweet oh yes right here wetland right there it says what is a wetland why create and protect them so I'm going to go ahead and throw the app on and we're going to figure this out and we're going to get that geocache. Man, look at that turtle. He's just kind of, he's doing him, you know, he's just hanging out and he's got his glasses on. He's just enjoying life and so should you guys. Okay guys, about this location, Frontier Park has three acres of wetlands. This wetland acts as a sponge soaking up excess water, preventing it from swelling our rivers and streams. Wetlands also act as a filter to help prevent river and lake pollution. Lately, wetlands also provide the only possible habitat for some animals. And we're close enough, it says awesome, you've unlocked the challenge question. What do wetlands allow to breed other than macro intra, interbreeds? I, I cannot pronounce that word, but I'm gonna read this up and we're gonna find it out. Okay guys, so right here it says uh, provide habitats and food. For some animals, wetlands are the only place where they can breed, such as salamanders and macro, whatever that word is. So it said, what is the other animal? It's salamanders. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to type salamanders up here, and I'll let you guys know if that's the correct answer. Okay, I typed up salamanders. Congratulations, you've completed Frontier Park Adventure. Woohoo, guys, so that means we've completed it. It said view journal, leaf wetlands. That's right, bonus code E equals three. If this is your last step, figure out the chords now and find it nearby. Okay, I get it. So I've got to type up all the coordinates of the E equals from every clue and that'll take me to a geocache or something to complete it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out now. Okay, guys, and this adventure lab is extremely popular. It's got a 4.9 out of a five star rating and i'm gonna write a little review on it and then we're gonna find the coordinates to find the final thing i don't know if that'll take us to a geocache or if that'll give us like the award saying we completed it we're gonna find it out together okay guys i have absolutely no idea how the heck to find these uh coordinates for finding lost five or whatever but i did complete it um i asked my buddy san marcus because he does a lot of adventure labbing asked him how i'm supposed to put them together so if he does respond back soon, I will end up doing it. But if not, I'll just end up doing it whenever and then I'll throw it on camera later. So if you guys did enjoy this video and if you do like Adventure Labs, 
let me know down in the comments subscribe if you're new like this video comment down if you liked adventure lives if you did i want to do a whole 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 lot more of these because it's very similar to geocaching and i absolutely had i had such a good time doing this guys so if you really did enjoy this comment down below like subscribe i really really do appreciate the support thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next week's adventure bye